Hello, Pisces. How are you? Before I do anything, I want to say thank you to Jamita. I received it. I love it. Thank you so, so much. I love this. So, you know, I'm going to put a plant in there. You know I am. You know it. I absolutely love the stones and everything on it. I adore it. I mean, I like when y'all do stuff because Pisces, y'all don't know how crappy and how special y'all are. But I had told y'all that I was doing a project. I show y'all what I was doing, and I, I was selling these. Well, I still am. But that's one of them with the buttons on it. Um, you know, Queen Bee, Chanel, and lipstick. Right? And this one got um the Queen. That's right, you are. A nice jacket. And look at that. Is that cute or what? So I'm selling these now. Um, A lot of the charms... One of the girls on YouTube was saying, you know, about the charms, but these are the kind of charms I'm looking for. I like, I like exotic, cute charms. Okay. You know, I'm dainty about shit. That's pocketbooks. A lot of these I make myself, you know, but my shit's got to be tight. Because, you know, people buy shit and shit got to be right. I don't be selling no bullshit. All right, so... That's my little thing that I got going on aside my YouTube. I do be having my own shit popping off. Like, I have my own little thing going on. Of course, this is the Wellamone necklace, and I got so much more, and I will show y'all I am now learning how little the beads are to make the bracelets. Some beads are small, smaller than this, and that's pretty big because this is a... Uh, uh, what size is these? These are like, I don't know what size are these. But I know the ones, you can barely see the one I got on. They don't even look like bees, but they are, right? So I'm making flowers out of these bees. So that's going to be a lot of work, but I got to get the right bees, all right, to do it. But anyway, please wear your mask. You know, today was the final day for them to be cutting people, um, firing people and all of that, which I don't think is right, but I also don't, I just feel like we should all make our own decisions at our own pace. We should not be forced to do anything we don't want, but a decision needs to be made, and y'all, everybody knows that. We all know that it has to be a decision made. So, um, I don't like the fact the way they're pushing it, but a decision needs to be made. Also, um... Thank you for all those who like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for all those who um, donate and get private readings. Thank you for all those who go onto my web and purchase items for me. Okay, so yes, thank you for everything y'all do for me. Um, thank you. Um, next month will be a big month because that's when I go to the hospital to deliver the kids' presents. So that's going to be very huge. One of my, my biggest uh, gifts that, I, that I'm going to be doing on my mother uh, foundation. So I'm just excited for everything. Um, I know everything is moving slowly um, for us. I feel like a lot of us feel like we being, like, there's something wrong, something is not moving. But um, it's okay. So meantime, while things ain't moving, pick up another project and start doing something else. Don't just sit there and uh, put in your head where well, this ain't going right and that ain't starting and this stop and that blah, blah. My money stop ain't moving around. What's going on? Um, pick up another project. Don't be sitting there focusing on what is not moving on. Focus on something new and make it uh, a moving on with a project. You know that um, Mercury is still going to next month. Um, so that is something that we got to deal with. It's all about the past coming. It's all about people in the past. Um, it could be anything. It don't always have to be a relationship. It could be anyone. Um, things happening from the past, you know, um, uh, making decisions, but a lot has to do with relationships. Um, I want to say I made a video earlier, and I made everything I said. I shouldn't have to repeat myself. Um, this is um, Pisces Studio 
uh, tarot card reading. This is not um, window shopping. Don't play with me. All right, and I mean that shit from the bottom of my heart. Do not window shop on Pisces Studio and then want to leave crazy comments. If you want it to be all about you, then you get a personal reading. And if you don't want it to be about you, then you need to, you know, stop playing because I would say something real fucked up. But I'm not. Stop playing. Don't do that. So I don't have to act crazy on your ass, all right? You don't you don't come in my house acting crazy. You got to be out of your mind to think that you can come and tell me what to do. You can't do that. But for all the other Pisces and cross watchers, the big time respect, I really appreciate each and every one of y'all, you know, on this huge journey I've been on. I thank every one of y'all for everything that y'all do um, for me. Uh... Let me let you know, uh, honey, uh, life is beautiful, and, and it's all about what you make it. So don't forget that it's about you, you and only you, all right? So that's what you need to know, it's you. It ain't nobody but you, all right? So I want to do a quick reading, okay? Uh, and let's see what is going to come out in this reading, all right? You don't never know. Uh, you know, I'm just grateful, truly grateful. This is the time of the year, it's the first of October, and the, the leaves are changing, they're all falling. You know, I'm waiting for them to most of them to fall so I can go out there and rate that, you know, and start doing new things because I like looking at my grass. I don't care how much leaves is on there, I can't just leave my property with leaves all over. I, I, I don't do that, but anyway, so let me get moving with this reading. Uh, Pisces, I don't know because I'm not the kind of person that labels a reading before I do a reading. Uh, I don't know what, what it's going to be about, but maybe I should. Um, you know, when I say the signs of the card, that don't really mean that and you got to say, oh, it's a Gemini. It could be anybody. But that is the sign of the card. But the situation don't have to be with a Gemini. It don't have to be with a Pisces. It don't have to be with any other sign. It's just the way... Or whatever the reading is about. If it if it fits you, then it's about you. But if it don't fit you, then it ain't about you. All right? All right, Pisces. Spirits, tell me what I need to know. And can I get one card? This is why I don't like shuffling these big cards because they fall out like 10, 20 of them. Spirits, give me one card, please. Give me one card. Thank you, Spirits. Thank you, Spirits. Uh, spirits, can I have one card, please? Thank you. The Eight of Wands. A lot of things moving fast. A lot of things are moving fast in your life or in a situation. All right? It can be on a positive end, but sometimes on that positive end, you know, we start... Uh, uh, Putting too much thoughts into things, you know, but it can be something fast coming to you, uh, travel, making a split decision, uh, an upcoming positive solution, um, a hustle, good news. It can mean anything, okay? Um, and I don't mean anything, but I mean in that form, okay? Um, uh, it can mean it's time for you to take action. You need to, um, this is the moment where you feel, you know, this this energy of movement, okay? Um, too much going on. Um, it could be a lot of positive um, opportunities coming on. Uh, uh, unexpected events or rupture change in a situation. The ability to mass that or a traveling or you traveling, okay? It can also mean... Um, a car or anything like that, traveling by airplane, traveling by boat, making split decision about things that I feel like you know what you want, but you know, you probably hesitating about doing what you're doing or you make it, or it has to be where you are making a plan to doing it, but it has to fall exactly how you're doing it. So you're waiting for something to arrive in order to make a decision. Or waiting something to come to you before you can make a decision. But you're definitely waiting on some information or a package or something here to make a decision. Okay? Um, so, um, also, um, 
Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo place on the walls, okay? Now, that don't mean that it has to be Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, but that is um, the walls, okay? So, I felt like things was moving fast for you. It was going to be some type of event that was moving. You was happy for it's like the 4th of July, um, and it's on that full moon, so, you know, this is moving fast. Now, it says balancing is where you're at right now. Balancing, um, you know, um, the, the, well, the balancing card here uh, is the card of 14, which represents um, temperance, right? Um, and when you look at temperance, you look at... Um, uh, um, when you look at temperance, you look at uh, Sagittarius. Again, you got the wants here. Somebody wants to be balanced in this situation. All right? Um, it's like you are um, blending this energy with harmony, moderation. The masculine and the feminine balance is like you. If you're a woman... You're coming into your mask. If you're a man, you know, we all have both. We got the sweet and we got the, you know, the rough side of us. We got the weak, sweet side and the rough side, right? Um, it's, it's something here um, for you to really come into this, some type of a meditation. is is something motivating of, of life. It's that um, nature. Um, being patient. Um, you walking in the middle of the path, you nurture your spirit and spirit with holiness. Okay, it's something here, and when I look at uh, uh, the temperance, it's, it's on a regular card. It'll show um, maybe like an infinity sign, right? Because it'd be going like this, but. It's showing a lot of balance. It's showing a rainbow, hope, okay? It's showing the sun that after the storm, it's always sun and then the rainbow. So maybe at one point, it was raining on your parade. Maybe things were moving um, fast for you or maybe, um, but in a positive way. But I feel like, maybe you feel like Things now are not moving as fast as they were. But I feel like it's got to be a balance in this here. All right? Um, it's like you are creating this. What you here for your purpose? What, what are you here to do? All right? You, but I feel like you're balancing this very well. You know, you focus on that elements. You you doing it with such beautiful, you know. You doing it with that classy side of you, all right. You might be hustling, you know. Um, I feel like sometimes we balance our from religion to material things, from. Uh, relationship to work, from work to kids, whatever it is, it's, it's a balance that needs to be, all right? But things are moving fast, and I don't know for who this is. Maybe you was traveling, but maybe now you need to balance everything. Um, maybe everything was coming to you with, in a positive, um, in a positive way. But I feel like, and this is a fast moving car, but I feel like well, maybe in your travels you was moving fast, but I feel like something feel like it's slow down. I feel like you are now trying to balance things. But what I have to tell you is when one thing slows down and say you got time where, you know, it's that slow season and then that fast season, summertime, everybody's busy, wintertime, people are trying to get their stuff ready for the holidays and all that. So you got to balance everything. And when everything going on in the world today, it's kind of hard to balance everything when you don't know from one, one day to the next, do you, do you have a job? Don't you have a job? 
because decisions that need to be made, right? So you're thinking, well, why do I have to do this? Um, it's against my will, but you got to balance shit. It's got to be a balance here. But it's the sun, it's, it's the, it's the um, rainbow, and then the sun is right there. So it's faith, and the sun is always, it's, it's hope, and the sun is always comes out, no matter when it rains. It, it don't rain forever, okay? The sun will come out. You know, and when sometimes you somewhere and then you see after the rain, you see this rainbow just shines right over you where the sun is coming up after a storm. It's like, I feel like you got one foot in and one foot out. Like you're trying to decide or trying to balance things out, right? It's a decision that needs to be made, but I think that things needs to be balanced. I think, I think at one time things was always rush for this, do this fast, do that fast, rush, 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 go, 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 move, 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 but I feel like now it's that balancing time for you to say, look, I ain't got to be in no rush, I ain't got to run nowhere, I ain't got to do that, but I feel like you, you, you want to do something, but you want to make sure it's the right time that you're going to do, or make this decision about what you want to do, all right? But I see you got your angels surrounding you on, on, on this balance in your life, on this looking at things the way, you know, it's like in a very spiritual way. But I feel like you have angels that are watching over you, that are guarding you, that are protecting you, right? Through major decisions, all right? Um... I feel like you got an idea, but what I'm telling you is while you waited, Jojo, cut it out. While if something is moving slow and things is not moving fast for you, and normally you can't even get a break because you constantly working and things slow down, this is the time for you to start on something, whether you want to do something new that you're trying to put off um, like me, I want to do these bees, but I got to make sure I got all the right materials, all right? I don't want things to be sitting around. I want to be able to use what I'm purchasing, all right? So it's taking me a little longer because I got to find out what kind of bees I need, but it's a project that I need to do, all right? And let me tell y'all, you never know what project you're going to do that's going to make you very successful. It can be as simple as baking a cake. It can be as, as, as simple as you um, making um, bread pudding, um, making a candle, um, doing a t-shirt, um, doing bath body, uh, bath bombs or salt baths. Um, it can be any little thing. You never know how successful you're going to be. You don't know this, but Pisces is in your blood. It's something that you have to do, but I feel like you have to balance everything, right? And you got angels watching over you. You got the hard thing where you go within, where you sit still, where you, the hard thing is to me is the best because I'd rather stay quiet and not speak because when you quiet, people don't know how to move with you, Right? They don't know your next move. They don't know what you're going to do. They don't know if you're mad. They don't know if you're happy. They don't know shit. Because you're just sitting there not saying a damn word. And, you know, when you start doing that to people, people think you like, what the fuck's wrong with her? Like, what? Like, they, shit, they probably say, am I talking too much? Because you gave them the whole fucking floor. They done ran out of shit to say, so they realize, then, am I talking too much? No, you ain't talking. Just go on, right? Because you learn so much more from when you're quiet and you're listening. That's when you learn a lot more about anyone or any situation. It's when you put the focus on what someone is saying so you won't miss out on anything. Because you would never know how much information you're going to collect by you going on this hermit mode 
and being quiet. And sometimes the hermit mode is mean, meaning ghosting a situation, staying far away from it until you get everything you need, until you feel like you can come back out in the light and check and see what's going on. It's like turning the lights off and I'm in a room sitting in the dark and nobody knows I'm sitting there, but I damn sure am. Then they turn the lights so next thing you know, I'm, I'm sound asleep. I've been there long, too long, thinking, figuring things out, getting some rest, right? Um, time spent peacefully meditating or um, meanfully in solitude, all right? Shine your light as an example to others. Seek out or become a inspirational, okay, media or self-discovery, right? I feel like this is the time where I do a lot of praying. I do a lot of meditation. I do a lot of praying because sometimes I'm trying to figure, is this real what's happening to me? Am I supposed to feel like it ain't? I never felt this light in my life, but um, it's because you know how you get that, that aha moment. I feel like I just got this aha moment, right? Where, and only because I was talking to another Pisces and I was sitting there listening to her, right? But this came exactly like this. I feel like everything comes fast, but everything that comes fast doesn't last long. You know, when people come fast into your life, it's always a reason for them to ghost you in and out. And it because it needs to be balanced in a situation. And sometimes we got to say, look, I'll see you later. Because I, I, I'm not a type of person that once I feel like I'm pinned to the corner or once I feel like I feel like I'm alone anyway because that person ain't there or, just, or whatever the situation, I'm not part of the situation. Um, then I back up all at one. I don't I don't let people just um, shut doors. I shut the motherfucker. I finish shutting that bitch. You might leave it open this much, right? But guess what I come and do? I shut the motherfucker just like that. And I get goats. Because, see, if I feel like I don't count or I don't mean anything, then I remove myself from people, remove myself from situations. And I go in hermit mode, all right? Because I'm not the one to sit there and um, I'm supposed to be in a situation but feeling like I'm not in a situation, okay? So I feel like things may have been moving fast, right? You're doing shit fast. But then, you know, you start thinking, damn, I'm moving fast. And then that balance comes in because if without balance, it ain't shit. If you're not balanced, then you fucking up. If you can't balance your checkbook, you can't balance your home, your relationship, if you just allow shit to happen to you and you're not balancing shit, you definitely going into solitude mode, into hermit mode, because you don't have a choice, because you just feel like anyway you've been alone all this damn time. All right? Or maybe you do. I'm a type of person that I love being alone. And I was saying this, I know I kind of ran off a trap, but... I was saying that, you know, I, I used to tell God, you know, Bree, allow someone to come into my life that loves you and respects you and honor you so that they can love and respect and honor me. But, you know, I kind of think about it. I, I'm happy and content the way my life is going because God is my provider. He gives me everything. So if I, I don't want to be in a situation where I'm in some type of stuck relationship or um, I'm constantly, like I said, looking for this affection or waiting to be somebody uh, show me love or, um, you know, or, or tell me how they feel about me, you know. Um, and I feel like now I don't I don't want to be in this situation with nobody. I don't want to have to um, deal with um, um, feeling like. We a couple, and this is the way shit goes. And really, they getting the best benefit out of this situation, not me. I don't want to look for that type of shit. I just want to be happy. And I don't want to label myself in no one's life as my boyfriend, my fiance, my husband. Uh, 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 uh. 
I want to label myself as I'm your friend. You are my friend. Um, that's the label it should be on. Because anything more than that, it becomes a hot damn fucking mess. All right? A hot mess. And that's what I'm trying to tell Pisces. Why would you want to go into, oh, well, but I'm looking for a husband. Damn, if you're looking for a husband, are you going to look for to sit your husband in your in in a high chair and take care of him and cater to him and do this and that? It, shit, is that what you want? Do you want somebody to break your fucking back? Because if you look at the cycle you've been through, all right, and you're still looking for something to come to you, you better look at that cycle. And if you haven't broke that cycle, God bless your soul because you're going back into self of sabotaging yourself, destroying yourself, going through the same emotion and feeling. And I know that for a fact because I know what the cups mean. All right? So you got to be careful. Um, you know, the moves you're making, how quick you're moving. You know, if somebody moving too quick, I know you need to slow the fuck down. Maybe you're moving too fast. What the fuck? You act like tomorrow it's not going to come. If I'm still alive tomorrow, we can we can catch up tomorrow or whatever. We'll, we ain't got to move this damn fast. What the fuck is up? You know, I don't want nobody reaching me, kissing me and all that. Everything is, it takes time. You know? Shit. Tell me what I need to know, spirits. Tell me what I need to know, spirits. Tell me everything you need for me to know. Tell me what I need to know. The five of wands. A lot of craziness. You know, and I always say this. This, this card makes me think because when I look at the five of wands, I look at people. It, I, it, it should be no competition. I shouldn't be running a race with no damn body. But the Five of Wands is telling you that, yes, competition. Yes, somebody trying to compete against you. Yes, somebody, um, you know, is watching your every move. Um, it's, um, it's competition. It's, it's conflicts. Conflicts is um, challenging, being pushed by others. Um, um, like a brainstorm, uh, a mental... Uh, Stress, um, anguish, um, a lot of arguments, um, you know, something that you need to level up to. But I just feel like the five of wands show me that you never know who you might be telling somebody that you got this going on, but they, all right, well, as soon as you turn around, they doing something like you. Or they talking shit about you. Or trying to start shit. Or, or telling you shit to start shit. Or telling you something to put you in a, another whole headspace. You know. Um, or say you at work and a boss tell somebody work with you or whatever. And been there long, way longer than you. And now the boss is giving you all the credit. You know. People don't like that. I feel like when something like that happened, nobody, no boss should put nobody on front street and say, oh, you better than, you know, everybody else. And people need to look at you an example. I, I don't like that because that to me is problems. Starting problems, bringing problems. Okay. Everybody's coming with their own unique, um, whatever they bring to the job. Everybody's coming to the table with their your own unique uh, essence. Okay. So you can't compare nobody to someone else. And there it is again. This car keeps coming out. The past. But the Six of Cups is the past. But you got somebody over here watching. Or maybe this is a person again. And I'm going to say again. And maybe it's somebody that you're trying to balance something off with. But maybe it's somebody that is with somebody they don't want to be with. And they still want to get with somebody from the past. Or it could be... um um someone is in a relationship and, and seeing somebody from the past or um someone coming back from the past or um you know you with a person and um you still want the past you know but it's somebody watching y'all look at that 
And I, I, I need to see what the hell is that? Is that a sword? What, what the hell it is that this person got here? Yeah, that's a sword. So is somebody watching your um, Gemini Libra Aquarius? Um, watching the um, Pisces Scorpio Cancer. You got the 501, Aries Sagittarius or Leo. Tell me more about this Hermit. Tell me more about the Hermit. Somebody here from the past want to come and offer you the world. Somebody wants to give you a cup of a new beginning. Someone wants to start a new beginning with you. I think somebody fought. They've been through a whole lot. People not, and I'm going to say it again, people not wanting y'all to be together. And the reason why people don't want y'all to be together is because um, Pisces, um, you, um, it's like two people talking bad about each other. Um, it's also two people that like each other, but just fucking each other's names up out the street, but know they like each other. But now you got all of these people in your business. I keep telling y'all, y'all bring people in your business for all the wrong reasons. And then you got to act like you mad at this person when you know good and damn well you don't want to be mad. You want to love this motherfucker. You want to put, he wants to put his, you know, his lips all down your neck. You know, he wants to put his hand through your whole fucking body. He, he just wants you, he want to just, you know, or she wants to, or y'all, whatever, you know. Pisces female man, somebody wants to rub their whole fucking hand all through from the top to the bottom of your fucking toes. They might want to dress you, undress you with their fucking mouth. And if they stand there, they want to undress you with their eyes. They can't stop. No matter how mad they're trying to act, they are. They're just happy as fuck. To see you standing in front of them. You understand? Do you get that shit? That shit is real. That shit is some real shit. You know what I mean? That That's some real shit. But you got somebody over here looking. Lurking and shit. But what you got going on? Maybe this person. You know what I mean? I don't know. But I just feel like it's somebody here. That. Just watching. I don't know what, what the hell what they looking for. I don't know what, what people be looking for. Okay, tell me what I need to know. Tell me. The night of wands. Somebody's dancing to the beat. The ones in uh, Air Sagittarius and Leo and Air Signs are the two a uh, horse that moves in that moves that makes moves, okay? Well, the air sign is the fastest. And then you got the wands. But if somebody is a horse here dancing to the beat of her beat of her beating down them drums. If somebody here likes music, listens to music, um, meditate or um, reminisce when they listen to a song that reminds them of you. Um, if somebody here that loves to dance with you. Is somebody here that that thinks about the time y'all used to be doing all that shit together, all right? It's somebody I feel in my mind is saying, come here, please come to me, come to me, oh my God, damn, somebody here wants, somebody here wants some of you in the worst way, they just, girl, I'll tell you, you know, uh, Pisces, men and women, Pisces, Somebody here, they just, well, oh my God, if they can only get you where they wanted you, it, it'd be fucking crazy. Um, you got, you, you, you there, honey, you, you done been to the top of your crown and you, you so sweet about it. This is, um, air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius taking it all the way to the top, to the top. It's like that. When you see the light, that's your crown, honey, your crown chakra, all right? And you're doing it so gracefully. It's like everything is right there. It's like, yes, I'm at peace with all the crazy shit. Somebody's over here wanting to dance with you while you sitting here 
you know, trying to figure out how I'm going to do this, when am I going to do this, but it's a plan that you got to execute this plan. It's something that's in your head that you need to make a move, okay? Um, because you, you, you came into this moment of clarity, and to me, the part that's clear is, I don't need to be in no relationship. I don't need to have no title in nobody's life. I don't want to be going through bullshit. And I feel like if I ain't got a title in your life, I fucking move on the way I do and see you when I want to and do what I want to do with you. I mean, damn, do I got to sound like that? That's vicious. But it's the truth because if you keep looking, oh, I'm keep looking for my husband, my husband, my husband. Girlfriend, that's too much looking. I don't want to look for shit. I just let whatever God has for me, let it come down. Shower me. But I don't want to have a title unless they want to give me the title. I don't want to fight for a title. I don't need to fight for no title. I am who the fuck I am. You don't need no title. You don't need to be, oh, that's my boyfriend. That's my, if he want to show you off, it's, that's a whole nother ball game. When a man wants you to go somewhere with him and show you off, shit. I, I mean, I want somebody to show me better than they can tell me, show me the fuck off. Cause then I ain't got to ask you, you, you doing it. Show me that I mean the world to you and you ain't got to say it. You acting on it. Rather than me say, you never tell me you love me. You, you never mention it. I don't know how you feel about me. I don't give a fuck. I'm not trying to figure all that shit out. It's too much figuring out. That is too much figuring out, honey. Get it right. New idea, a clear to aha moment. The truth be villain, okay? Awareness, okay? Of the highest state of your conscious. Uh, momento in, in, in thoughts, communication, victory, success, okay? And that's what I mean. It ain't not like communicating, but you are like on your highest fucking level of this aha. And it's like I just woke up and I said, why would I want to be in a marriage when I need to, to, to have fun? I need to enjoy my life. The problem with Pisces is, honey, y'all look at a nigga. Okay, I see the house, the picket fence, the dog, the cat, the kids, um, me living good. And uh, that's, that's in your fucking head. Come out of your head and look at life for what it is. Yeah, I need somebody that I can, I, I, yeah, we can do this. We can do, do, do this. Okay? Yeah, I like when we do this. I like it when we do this. I like when we do that, okay? Now, I don't have to frown. All I do is smile because I like what you're doing when you do it to me. You understand? Then I don't have to look for it because you're doing it. You're making moves. You're showing me, all right? Yes, I'm not looking for you to do it. I don't want to set myself up anymore to keep telling you what you ain't doing, what somebody ain't doing, how they ain't making me feel. I don't have the time. I'm making myself feel and I'm doing what I'm doing. Okay. I, I realize that if I don't do it, it ain't going to get done. But if I, if, if somebody wants me, they won't come to me because they want to do me and do what I like for them to do. And it's a do I, do, 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 do me, do we. Do us, okay? Show me, all right? Show me. Don't tell me. Show me. You ain't got to never use the word love. Just show me what love is. You ain't never got to tell me you 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 know you care. Show me what care is. Show me what making love is, okay? Because I don't have to ask. It's because I know. Because you show me. Right? I don't have to say take me out. You take me out because that's what you want to do. 
I don't have to tell you. You know what to do. It's like a Pisces. Y'all already know what to do. That's what y'all need someone to do, 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 do you. Do you. Do me. <laughs> do we. Do us. Do me. Do me, baby. Like you never done before. Yes, do me, damn it. And you come to this king of swords. King of swords, baby. That king of swords coming after the hermit. They taking their time, so are you. Somebody not in a rush. I'm in hermit mode because I like to stay in hermit mode. I'm that ghost. You know how they say that ghost and power? Yeah, I'm that fucking ghost. That's why I like to be a fucking ghost. That's why I can relate to the spirit more than humans. I, I can fuck with a ghost. But fucking with a human will fuck me good. Okay? Because I know when to tell a ghost to get going. In the name of Jesus. All right? I feel like it's your time to get settled in and find out what you want within you. It's time for you to light that light your way. Okay? That lantern will shine you all the way there. And when you look back, you see nothing but dark. But when you look in the front, you know your steps and where you're going with it. Because the light is showing you the way. And the way is all for you to lead, to go. Change your ways and change the way you think what you want with a person or a situation. I don't care what it is. All right? I stopped wanting because everything I ever wanted wasn't for me. They gave me their ass to kiss when I say, well, I want you to love me. They fucking saying, fuck you. Okay? Well, why ain't you calling me? I don't need to. You know, I ain't going through that shit. I ain't going through that shit no more. Nah, uh-uh. I once met a person that said, you know, I said, why you ain't calling me? He said, only time somebody calls you is when they thinking about you. And boy, did I feel crushed. All right? Um, it's just things that people tell me. And they, they these people met the world to me. Okay? They just not anybody. Because if you was anybody who said that to me, I'd be like, yeah, well, go fuck yourself. But because it was somebody I care, I was like, wow, that's crazy, right? But now I know, and I know better. And that's why I, you know, um, protect my bubble. I act like that bubble is there and can't nobody even come through it. Even if you try to come through it, you can't come through it. Okay? Because I'm protecting myself over all the nonsense that comes with bullshit. But you went into that hermit mode, right? And then you get offered that, that ace of cup, the new beginning, a new start. You got the king of swords, right? The king of swords, somebody ain't playing. They, they, they go by the book, all right? They not iffy. They want shit in black and white. They want to know the truth. They want to know why, all right? Everything got to make sense to them. They straightforward motherfuckers. They ain't nobody to fuck with. They can have an attitude and be stubborn as a motherfucker. They're not the kind of people that keep telling you how much they love you. If you get the love from them, shit, you be like, what? And if you get them to show you the way, you like, what? Yeah, well, why don't you be the source and show me the way and show me what love is and show me everything that represents a union between two people? Show me. Don't tell me. Show me because you're the king of swords. You're that bad motherfucker. You that thug ass motherfucker. All right. You the one that everybody looks at. You the one that everybody um look up to. You know, you like that president motherfucker. You know, like people look at you like um, I would say like the big motherfucker. Like, yeah, they they looking at you for the answers. Um, and you feel like you the boss, like you the one. But the thing is, I don't give a fuck with day, and I keep saying this, I don't give a fuck about the day. I give a fuck about you do me, okay? You do us. You do the we, all right? I don't give a fuck about all of that. That right there don't mean nothing to me, okay? What means is what you going to do with me? How you going to do me, okay? What you got for me? What you want to show me? And you ain't never got a motherfucking tell me shit. 
Show me everything that I want to see. Come out that hermit mode. Show me what you're about. You got that ace of cup. Everything you want to give me is all a new beginning. Well, show me the way. You know, sometimes Pisces or the cross watcher, you got to cut everything that's in front of you so that you can focus on one particular thing and not have your focus on two and three because when you got more than what you want, it's going to be a problem because you're trying to keep everything that you want. And sometimes you can't have everything you want. And it may be the cross watcher I'm saying that too. Or whoever I'm saying that to, maybe it's somebody else in your life, okay? And you don't know how to get out of situation. But you got to be real about shit. And, and if I was you, I won't lead the way to be with somebody else if I'm with somebody else. Because that's a waste of time. Because, you know, karma will catch up to your motherfucking ass. I'm going to wish you never did that shit. You know what I mean? Tell me what I need to know, spirits. Tell me what I need to know. Spirits, tell me what I need to know. I feel like somebody, I feel like somebody is coming to their senses. Tell me what I need to know. Tell me what I need to know, Spirit. Give me one car. Tell me what Pisces need to know. Okay, okay, there you go. All right, the first car you got is forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moment. And I believe that. You cannot move on if you cannot let go. You cannot move on if you're living about living within the dramas of what happened. If you live in the past, you get stuck in the past. If you get thinking about the past, you're going to be stuck thinking. Okay? You, you got to keep moving. If you keep believing in what took place, then that's where you're going to be. And that's where the next motherfucker that's going to come in is going to be the same shit. Because you're stuck in the mud. And you don't know how to get the fuck out the mud. Or you stuck in quicksand. That bitch is just sinking your ass in. Okay? Or you are wrapped up with that hurricane coming to sweep your ass up. You sitting out there saying, well, I'm not going <coughs> to get covered. I'm just going to let the hurricane just take me away and throw me to fucking Alaska. Okay? They find your fucking ass somewhere way farther than where you live. Oh, come on. Wake the fuck up now, you know. It says retrieve. It's time for you to let go and go somewhere. It may be just you and that person going on a retrieve. Or, or I mean, wanting to go with me to um Cancun. Maybe now you, you want to go. All right. Um, it's time to um disconnect from the world. Disconnect from the world, disconnect from everybody, and take time for you and them, right? For two people, disconnect from everybody. Even your phones. Act like you don't know nothing, don't hear nothing. See how that works when it's just you and them, right? Very soon, clear decision what you want so that it comes to you in the now. In the now. I think this is a good reading. I just think that, you know, you got to be in the same track of mind setting. You got to stop saying, oh, well, this happened, that happened. You can't help yourself but to keep saying it, right? But um, stop, you know, falling so in love so quick. So quick. Um. Don't label yourself with a man. I, I know. Don't rush to get the kisses and the hands moving and all that. Chill out. Be like, you know, let's see where this is going to go. What's the big fucking rush? What's the big deal? You know what I mean? I'm get to know somebody because see, the thing is, you never, you never will ever know somebody full, fully. You know what I mean? Because people got a lot of games with them, and who got the time to keep chasing somebody? They got a lot of game. You know, the first time you show me. That you don't, that you want to play games? Oh, I'm going to show you what I got for your ass. I'm going to get ghosts on your ass. I got to go. I'm going to look at my clock and say, look, it's time for me to get the fuck out of here. I ain't even going to say where I got to go. I got to just go. Because that's just the way you taught me to be. See, the past taught me to be real crazy and real rough and real cold. All right? 
I, I was that gentle soul to give you everything. But now I, I'm not rushing. I'm not looking for um, as a couple. I'm not going to say, oh, you my man. and nah, nah, We ain't doing none of that shit. We not doing none of it. You know, you want that from me? Then show me what you want. All right? I don't have time to be sitting here labeling us. Label? Nah, we ain't got no label to shit because, see, everything is in the making. And in order for everything to be made right, right, you throw in the ingredients, you throw in everything you need to make that right. And, honey, it's in the making. It ain't even in the making because I ain't even there. So how about it's not even in the making? They don't even have ingredients. They don't have shit. All right? But everything has to be in the making. That means once you get there, slow your fucking ass down and start deciding what you want to make, how you want to make, what you need to make it. And then start making it because think of a relationship or anything that you want as making a perfect ingredients, making that ingredients for the chemistry, okay? Making that chemistry, all right? Making that connection, all right? If you can't make that connection and you looking all sideways and nothing fits the puzzle, then it ain't going to be right. Then you're looking for problems to come to you. But what you need to do is make, you know, the, the chemistry, all right? And take your time while you're doing it. All right, so I'm sure he's going to want to come over and say hi and all that. That's going to happen. There it is. Hello. Hello, Pisces. Hi, Pisces. There you go. That's Jay Shorty. He wasn't here for a little bit because um, I came from Mexico and I had to quarantine myself, even though I took the Sam and all that. But I had to quarantine myself. That's what I was told. But it's all good. Whatever it is, it is. You know what I mean? I just follow the rules when it comes to his parents and how they want shit done with their child. But Pisces, if you need a bright greeting, get it from me or someone else. And please, if you window shopping and nothing in that fucking window fits you, keep on going. Right? Everything ain't for everybody. But for sure is don't label something to be something that is not. Take your time. Look for the right label. Remember, you got all kinds of labels. You got fake labels, real labels. You can have a knockoff Gucci, a real Gucci. You know, what the fuck? I want me the real shit. So guess what? I'll take my time and wait on it. You understand? Uh, I don't want to put no labels on motherfuckers that don't deserve labels. All right? I mean, I could slap a fake label on your ass because... Um, and leave it on in the closet until you until I can switch that label when it become when you become what the real shit is. And but I ain't gonna be sitting there waiting on shit either. All right, because I'm not you know I'm not gonna say oh we we just kicking it you know we just talking whatever back in the day talking. My mom used to be what the fuck and me what what the fuck you mean talking? And you know, my mom had no understanding of what talking was. Oh, we just talking. My mom was like, what the hell is that? What does that mean, y'all just talking? I said, mom, that means like, you know, you're getting to know each other. My mom said, talk. So y'all, she said, Lord, and this is back then. Okay? Now is we fucking around. We ain't no relationship. We just fucking around. What you mean we fucking around? See, it's always something new to the millennium and all that shit. But it all equals to the same shit. In other words, we ain't doing shit. I ain't doing shit. You just a piece of pussy. You're a piece of dick to me. You don't mean shit, and I don't mean shit. All right, well, if two people don't mean shit, then I, I can't be fucking with you in that level. All right? I still got to get respect. All right? So, Pisces, if you need a private reading, get it from me or someone else. But play your cards and throw all aces down. Okay? Or have a full house. You understand? Why don't you do that? I'll talk to you later. Be a winner. Control yourself. You know, lead the way. Be the boss. And be the boss with class. You ain't got to show them you the boss. You just sit there and you ain't got to say shit because you are the boss. All right? For real. L-I-S-A. 
R A M O S two nineteen nineteen sixty five. I am the boss of who of me. I wear my crown of who of me. That's what it's about. All right. I'll talk to you later. I love you. Bye.